Good morning guys. Um, I know this vlog is abruptly starting but the morning was quite chaotic. The reason I'm vlogging today is because Mia has an EEG and out of all of the scans that she has, um, the EEGs are the hardest on me because one, they're really long, but two, seizures are the most like detrimental thing to her life and so I'm always the most afraid of the uh results that we're gonna get um i'm always afraid they're gonna tell me that her meds aren't working or that there's a new seizure activity that they're seeing so they have to give her more meds i get really um anxious leading up to these appointments um so this would be the third eeg that i've come to with her and then she had two in the hospital like in the NICU or one I don't remember but I wasn't there for that one but the nurse was the nurse went with her and first of all they're hard to watch they're hard to watch because all of the wires coming out of their head but secondly it's just the results that you get from it are just scary you know um, you always pray for a good outcome but the last time we had one we found out that the steroid treatment wasn't working and I felt like shit for like weeks because I put her through that steroid treatment for essentially nothing and just to put her on an even more harsh like hazardous medication is what it, you know they consider it which is why we have to jump through hoops to even get it in the first place um so that's what we're doing here today so I did want to vlog um today I don't know how much of the process of like them putting the electrodes on I can film but I'll try sometimes you get a really cool tech and then sometimes you you don't so but I can definitely film after the tech leaves um so you can kind of see what the setup looks like and we're actually at UT Southwestern and not Children's Hospital because Children's doesn't do the EEGs anymore unless you go all the way there downtown Dallas location which is really far from my house but this one is 16 minutes away so they are working with our doctor at Children's to do the EEG here so they do bring in somebody from Children's Hospital to do the EEG but at UT Southwestern if that makes sense. But I'm running late so we're gonna go inside and I'll um, check in with you guys as soon as I can. We just got done with the EEG. It was an hour long, not four hours, thank God. I thought it was four hours. And the guy that did her EEG actually did her last one, which the four hour one. I think it takes about a week to get the results like last time. Um, so I'm just praying that the medication is working. I'm just praying for some good news. Hey guys, so it's been a few hours since I got home. I gave Nia a bath. But I just wanted to show you the probiotics that I ordered for her. Um, I ordered these because it's supposed to be geared towards gas problems. So I'm hoping that it works. I also got her a new book. Good morning, guys. So it's actually the next day, and I'm whispering because my husband is sleeping and my baby is sleeping. Um, and I'm just here watching TV and drinking my coffee. I woke up really late today. I think I woke up at like 10.30, which is super late for me. I usually am up by like 5 or 6 in the morning and I don't usually go back to sleep. But I 
I knew my husband was tired, but I literally just kept sleeping because I was I just couldn't I couldn't do it. Um, but yeah, last night after I showed you guys the probiotics and the book, I mean we didn't really do anything eventful. Um, we just like ate dinner and cleaned up and then just went in our room to watch TV until we fell asleep pretty much. Um, which is our life because um, we still quarantine. Um, but today is an exciting day because um, my husband's actually taking the baby to his parents' house, which means I get a break and the dog parks are open again. So I'm gonna take my mask and take my hand sanitizer and we are gonna go to the dog park. I'm gonna finally take my dogs after two and a half months of like minimal exercise that they actually need. They're both herding breeds, so they need a lot of running and a lot of space and a lot of active play. And uh, they haven't been able to get that because the parks have been closed. And um, I know it's a little bit of a risk, but it's okay. I'm gonna take the extra precautions. I'm gonna come home and throw my clothes in the washer and shower and all that good stuff when I get home and lice all my shoes and all that stuff. Um, but I, I don't even know if there's gonna be a lot of people there. Um, I hope not, so I hope they have more space to run. Um, not relevant, but I actually wanted to take them to this other park that's closer to where we used to live, which is huge. It's, I swear, it's like, like half of a ball field long. I mean, it's so big, but they don't open until the first. So, um, but we are gonna surprise my mom on her birthday on the third so we might just take them then to that big park um but yeah i'm really excited you guys i'm i'm gonna miss her for a few hours but i'm so excited to have this break i'm excited for my in-laws to see her again she got to see them a few days ago for the first time on eid um but it's just nice to have someone else take care of her for a few hours so that mom can have a break and i don't think there's anything wrong with that and if you feel for one second guilty about that, don't, because everybody deserves a break. Your spouse deserves a break, you deserve a break, everybody deserves a break, and that's why there's grandparents, and um, I really feel for the people that, you know, don't have as much family around as we do, but we are blessed to have uh, both families on here in Texas, so um, I'm gonna take advantage of that. and. I'm going to enjoy my time uh, to myself and it doesn't mean I'm going to be lazy around, it just means I'm going to get my stuff done, I'm going to do some self care, I'm going to paint my nails, I'm going to do her laundry, do my laundry, take the dogs to the park. Um, I just feel like it's going to be a really productive evening and then I'm going to try to knock out as much of it as I can during the day so that I can actually relax at night and like watch a movie uninterrupted. I mean, all these little things that you take for granted. Um, before you have a kid, like, you get really excited about them when you have the opportunity to do it. And it's just, it's especially exciting for me because Mia doesn't, at six months old, really doesn't have a sense of independence. She's sort of joined at the hip like a newborn, so I can't really, um, do anything until there's somebody else that takes over her care. Um, especially with all the gas stuff happening right now. But, um, so far she's sleeping really peacefully, you guys. Um, the new formula switch is definitely uh, agreeing with her. She's pooping on her own. I haven't had to add any prune juice or anything. I have had to help her, like, stimulation-wise a couple times. But I think eventually if she ate enough, she would push it out on her own. It's just that we don't like to put her through that struggle because it's just sort of extra painful for her to push it out. So why not just help her if we have the ability to? Um... And then on the moving front, we haven't packed anything. We've literally packed nothing. Um, I think that's something we're gonna work on tomorrow, so I'll probably film that in its own vlog, like a moving vlog, but it'll be over the course of um, the month, but you just won't realize that it's all clipped together. So um, yeah, so that's the plan today, and I'm so excited. I'm so happy, um, I'm so happy, so. I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Maybe when we head to the dog park. That's when I'll check in with you guys. And right now, I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee and my breakfast, and I will see you in a bit. Two and a half 
wants and this is what they want to do. They don't want to run, they don't want to play. I don't get it. Cass, Cass, how come you don't want to run? Charlie? 